Hey guys, just uh, another one quick sort of follow-up to the video on arrogance. One of the reasons it's so important to walk in humility and or decrease arrogance is that it will increase your awareness. It's going to in increase your ability to hear yourself better, your true self, and it's certainly going to help you when you're dealing with other people. Um, and especially like your, you know, your immediate family or people you work with, people you go to services with, whatever the situation, people you're in traffic with, because, you know, that's where you see a lot of the practical day-to-day -day difficulties are in our society, in humanity in general, but, you know, particularly in America, people are, uh, we're raised to be somewhat arrogant. Uh, I live in Texas. There's a certain arrogance that goes with Texas. Uh, and you can see it sometimes in how people drive. And it's not that they drive fast or or anything like that, but they drive in such a way sometimes that lets you know that they're not looking out for you because they have to do what they have to do first. And it doesn't really matter, you know, they have to get through you to get to their goal. Uh, and that's not an attitude of humility. That's an attitude like of martial arts or, or war. Um, because, you know, sometimes in a, in a battle, you, you want to go through something to get to the goal. That makes sense, but that's not the way of humility. So, if you're increasing your humility and decreasing arrogance in yourself, you're going to be able to hear your true self more clearly, and thereby you are going to hear Hashem more clearly. And I can also tell you that this is true in my life, that once I went through the stuff that was very hard, much harder than things I'm going through right now, you know, when, when I was having real difficulties in my marriage and real difficulties in other areas and even, you know, spiritual difficulties, 99.99% of that was because of my arrogance my lack of humility, my narcissism, whatever you want to call it. And it was harder to see and hear what Hashem was doing or saying. It was harder for me to really hear my true self. And once I began to just say, you know what? I need to be more humble and I need to understand that I don't have all the answers no matter how much I'm reading or learning or anything like that. And once I got to that place, things changed and they're still changing because again, we're always becoming guys. We're always becoming this. I can't stress it enough. This perfectionism is a myth. This, this sort of achievement thing. It just, it's, a myth. Um, just keep becoming. Keep becoming. I'm going to keep becoming the best Zev I can be. You become the best person that you're supposed to be. And even if you're looking to someone else for guidance, don't say, oh, I want to be like them. Just, just say to yourself, how can they help me become a better me? And become the best me. That's what's most important. And I just observed some more sort of arrogant driving. And I'm in a parking lot. So it's, you know, it's not like it's high speed. But, you know, people just on their phones, talking, not watching out for the person next to them. Or, or the, the person that also wants to park to go in the store to get groceries we're all here for the same goal. We're all trying to get groceries right now, but 
be careful, you know, don't get in the way of one person because they're driving a work truck and they're on their phone and, and that's much more important, obviously, than what I have to do. <laughs> I'm just a regular person trying to get groceries for their family. So forgive that digression, guys, but that's part of what inspired me to make the video in the first place and then to make part two was just, you know, how people, we're not looking out for each other. We're only in it for ourselves. And that's not humility, guys. That's arrogance. And, you know, it's one thing to say, I love myself. And, and so I love myself and I'm going to love my neighbor. It's another thing to say, I'm just going to go zooming through a parking lot, texting on a phone, because I have to get my stuff done and I really don't care what's going on with you. And we do that with so many things in life. We do that and we, we do it with religion. And that's part of the problem, guys. That's a huge part of the problem. That's why people can't see Hashem. That's why I couldn't see Hashem for years. And I'm still not fully illuminated, guys. Don't get me wrong. So that's it. There's another one for, I guess, part two. And I hope it's great. Thank you, guys. I hope you're inspired. Thank you for all your feedback. Thank you for all your positive feedback. Thank you, as always, for the opportunity to do this. I hope it helps you. I know it.